What's up guys, today I will show you the method I use when I want to cut holes inside a wall with windows or doors. Coming from SketchUp to Blender, this was one of those SketchUp features I missed the most and this method I'm about to show you is the best one I could have come up with in Blender. Let me know in the comments if you have a better one. So here is a window with four distinct objects. The frame, the glass, the sill and the handle. Other than the handles, all the other objects' origin points are right here in the lower left corner. And that is going to be very, very important further on. Here is a box the same size of a window that we're going to use to cut a hole inside a wall. So let's put it in place. Notice the origin point is in the same place as the other objects. Okay, so now select all the window objects with the box selected last so that it is active and press Control p now we've set our box as a parent and all the other objects its children now follow all transformations of the parent whether i want to move it rotate it or scale it if i select the parent and press shift g i automatically select all the children and if I want to break this parent-child relation, I need to select the child and press Alt-P, like this. Let's undo this and keep the parent. Okay, so before we go on, be sure that you have enabled the Bool Tools add-on inside your preferences. Now, move our window in place. Select first our box, then the wall, so that the wall is active, and press Ctrl- minus on the numpad. And you've just added a boolean difference modifier and the cool thing about this add-on is that you can add multiple boolean modifiers all at once and let's select our box and all our children with shift g and duplicate everything with alt d it's very important to use the alt d shortcut when duplicating instead of shift d because we want to have a linked copy instead of just a copy so that when you change one instance the others will also change and this is particularly important if we decide to change, let's say, the type of handle after we've already added hundreds of windows inside our scene. So let's repeat our last command with Shift R a couple of times. Now select all the boxes, the wall, and Control minus, and check out these multiple booleans we've added. Okay, now let's say we want these two windows to be 140 by 100 instead. Here's what I do. First, I clear the parent from my handles and frames with Alt-P. Then I select the boxes and set the new size here. Notice the glass and the silk have scaled with the parent. Then I select the frame and by pressing U, I make a unique instance of it, breaking the link from the original 100 by 100 box. Now when I change its geometry, the original box doesn't change. I'll rename the box to 140 by 100. And for the other frame, I can just copy the object data from the first frame by pressing Ctrl L, object data, making a link copy with the original. Remember to rename this one also because Blender creates a bit of a confusion in the outliner with this operation. And all that's left to do is to parent the handle and the new size frame to the box. Okay, instead of editing both windows, I could have just deleted one. Uh, edited the first one and duplicated it, but I wanted to show you how the control L linking object data works. So that's all there is to it. I hope I didn't complicate things too much. Uh, if the video helped you, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.